we recently found out that Emma Stone almost made a return in Spider-Man No Way Home. But there was a few reasons, some of them logistical, some of them actually make sense, in terms of why they decided not to bring the character back. So let's talk about some other things that got in the way, besides just the story. So obviously, the return of Emma Stone's Gwen Stacy would have been a complete misfire. Let's just think of it logistically. Suddenly, she's back. How is she back from the dead? Is she another one from the multiverse? What does Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man think about this? Again, it would have taken away from the core story, and it would have asked too many questions out of the whole fallout of the Amazing Spider-Man universe. So it makes sense that she wasn't brought back. But there's also a deeper issue here that not a lot of people have talked about or even acknowledged. And that's the fact that Sony does not want Gwen Stacy or any version of Gwen, whether it's the Amazing Spider-Man one or another one that's part of the multiverse or whatever their intentions are, or even a MCU version of her to appear in the MCU as they've embargoed the character, much like Black Hat and others, away from Marvel Studios because they intend to use her on their own. And with multiple reports that Sony has been actively working on a Spider-Gwen film, or what they call Spider-Woman, it kind of makes sense, right? They want to get the first go-ahead, and they didn't want Marvel Studios to do it. And also, like I said, it would have been problematic to the script. But think about Sony's stance on this. If Marvel Studios brings back Emma Stone, suddenly they kind of solidified Gwen, right? They're the ones that got her back, just like they're the ones that brought Andrew back. Again, it's going to make Sony look somewhat bad. And at the same time, you're not just taking away story time from, well, the important character in the plot here. You now got to set up and explain a lot. But the big issue here, I think, at least what sticks out to me, is that Sony just does not want Marvel Studios to use Gwen. Remember originally when they were casting for Homecoming, and suddenly we saw, well, I'll just show you the image. One of our first looks at Spider-Man, and sure enough, people were like, oh yeah, the actress, yeah, she was cast as Gwen Stacy. Here she is. She's going to be doing the same thing, doing reporting and everything. In the school, this is what's going to get Peter interested in her. And then reports came out, Sony said, no, you guys are embargoed, you can't use Gwen, pull back on that. So they just made her Betty Brandt and never did anything much with her. This was all kind of confirmed by various, uh, well, things we've talked about in the past. Sony clearly and reluctantly doesn't want Marvel Studios to use Emma Stone or Gwen Stacy, and they wouldn't authorize it. And that's kind of what we've learned recently, and it's not surprising. Again, it's a character they want to focus on. They've had her in the animated Spider-Verse films, and they see the appeal of the character. Letting Marvel Studios take the first stab at doing this character in live action and bring back Emma Stone, that would just make Sony look bad, and they don't want that. 